Hi, I'm Tim Van Orden, and this is Start Here. Today I'm out on another snowshoe run, this time up Bald Mountain in Bennington. It's the highest point in Bennington. And as I was driving over to the trailhead, I was thinking a lot about the video that I made yesterday about capacity versus potential. And I'd like to add some more distinctions and terminology to that conversation to widen its scope a little bit. Because what occurred to me is that there are different kinds of goals. What kind of goal is it that you're moving towards? Is it a reactive goal where you're reacting to something that's happened to you in the past, something you feel you need to overcome, something you need to deal with, something you need to prove? Is it a reasonable goal based on your history and based on your current abilities? Is it reasonable to think that you can achieve this goal? Is it a realistic goal? Are you looking at how consistent you've been moving towards goals? Are you looking at your daily habits? Are you looking at the things that you actually engage in on a daily basis? Is it realistic that you achieve this goal, even if it's reasonable? And then the last distinction, is it a ready goal? Are you ready to deal with it right now? Are you ready to act on it right now? Are you ready to take the first step right now? So you've got reactive goals, reasonable goals, realistic goals, and ready goals. And I'm gonna to focus today on the ready goals, and that's where you really look at your capacity. Again, a reactive goal, you're reacting to something that happened to you. You're reacting to an emotional state. And even if you do accomplish that goal, which is highly unlikely, what is it that you actually accomplished? You're just trying to prove something. You didn't engage in the activity because you enjoy it. You didn't move towards that goal because it's going to offer you some personal fulfillment. You're just reacting to something. You're hurt and you're acting out of pain and fear or anger or whatever it might be. It's not going to give you what you think it's going to give you. A reasonable goal is what I call a goal in a vacuum, or a best case goal. It's a goal that you can achieve if you do everything perfectly and there's no obstacles, nobody sidetracks you, nothing bad happens, you're in a vacuum. Nothing is going to pull you away from that goal. It's reasonable to think that you can do it. It's reasonable to think that I can run up Bald Mountain today. I've done it dozens of times. It's one of my favorite trails. And I'm in decent fitness, so it's perfectly reasonable to think that I can do that. A realistic goal is one where you look at what is the current reality that you find yourself in. It's reasonable that I can run up this mountain right now, but is it realistic? I've only run four times in the past month. Because of illness and stress and working on the snowshoe championships and whatnot, I've done very little training. My Achilles tendon hurts. Even though I may have the fitness to get up the mountain, I may do some damage to my tendon. I also have to look at how much I've been sleeping, which is not a lot. So even though it's reasonable to think I can do this, is it realistic? Maybe I'm a little too tired. Maybe my Achilles tendon isn't going to work out. Maybe I'm not in as good a shape as I think I am. Maybe I don't have the mental fitness right now. Maybe I'm just going to give up halfway up the mountain because it climbs 2,000 feet in two miles. It's a really steep, rugged climb, and I'm doing it in deep snow and snowshoes. So is it realistic? Maybe not. So then I look at the final type of goal, which I call a ready goal. And a ready goal is where you really focus on your current capacity. Am I ready to do this right now? Am I ready mentally? Am I ready physically? Have I prepared? If you look at the etymology of the word ready, it means to arrange or prepare, to organize. Have I done that? Have I taken all the steps necessary to run up this mountain today? If I haven't, then I have to give up on the goal of running up the mountain, which is where I find myself right now. My Achilles hurts, I'm tired mentally, I don't know if I want to endure that kind of suffering today. So instead of saying I'm going to run up the mountain, what I'm doing is looking at what I am ready to do. Well, I'm dressed and I have my snowshoes on, so I'm ready to go for a snowshoe. And I'm ready to start on this trail. I'm ready to start running. And that's all I'm gonna focus on. I'm just gonna start running. I don't know how far I'll get. Is it reasonable that I get to the top? Yeah. Is it realistic that I get to the top? Maybe. Am I ready to get to the top? I'm really not sure. So I'm just gonna run and see what happens. I might run 10 minutes and then just decide that I want to stop and I may walk. I may turn around and go back to the car. Or I may run 15 minutes and then decide I'm going to walk for 5 and then I run for 10 and then I walk for 5 and then I run for 10. 
I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm ready. That's all that matters. Are you ready to move towards your goals? Have you taken the steps? Did I stretch my Achilles tendon today? No, I didn't. So is it ready to handle this kind of mountain training? I'm not sure, so I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to challenge myself. So when you're having a really hard time getting started and you've got these reactive emotions telling you, I need to get back in the game. I need to get back in shape. I've got races coming up and I've got to get ready for them. And people are going to slam me on YouTube if I'm not the fittest guy on the planet or whatever. Let it go. Let go of the reaction and let go of the reasonable goals too. Because even though they make sense, even though on paper they look really good, they're probably not realistic because life is going to happen. Things are going to show up. There are a lot of things that you didn't take into consideration. The reality is always different than what we plan on paper. And then finally, what are you ready to do? Focus on that. Right now, I'm ready to start running. And that's it. That's all I care about. I'm dressed, I'm outside, and I'm about to start running. Because if you don't start, you never get anywhere. Okay? Hope that helps. This gives you an idea of how deep the snow is here in Woodford, even at the end of March. Here I am at the highest point in Bennington, Vermont. The summit of Bald Mountain. Oh, stunningly beautiful up here. To the south you can see Mount Greylock, the highest point in Massachusetts. <laughs> 